The day has come that we are able to breathe with lesser fear of the unknown. We have removed the cover and uncovered the smiles hidden for so long ago. Then finally, the distance that separated us for years has been diminished as we eventually narrow down the line and get in touch with one of over again. We can now gather face to face sensing the synergy that only physical contact allows us. For after the daunting days in this generation history, we went out from isolations. After we have alternative the shift from enhance, modified enhance, and general restrictions. Limiting the movement of people, we are now mobilizing at full capacity, regaining what has been lost in years and thriving towards economic stability. True Proclamation Number 297 on Friday, 21st of July, year 2020, the State of Public Health Emergency throughout the Philippines due to COVID-19 has been officially lifted. Over the years of pandemic, the Philippines has seen a strong rebound from economic decline, according to the Philippines Statistic Authority or PSA. There is a need to accelerate two factors such an increase in urbanization, growing middle class, digital transformation, gender equality, and empowerment of women, and strong consumer demand supported by a more enthusiastic labor market or robust remittances. This will make the country one of the world's fastest growing emerging markets. Remembering Proclamation Number 922 that declared a state of public health emergency in March 2020, we can also recall the mobilization of the government resources to contain the spread of COVID-19, which was first reported in Wuhan, China. <clears throat> now, remember the exact place you were when total lockdown all over the Philippines was declared. What exactly you were doing? How did you feel? Who was the first person you thought of? Let me ask you the same question after you hear the news of lifting of the state of public health emergency. But most importantly, let me ask you, what have you learned? Among the many sector contributory of the acceleration of the country's economic progress is the health sector. After all, let us put emphasis on the lesson that the pandemic taught us. Public and private entities are encouraged to share in advancing and expanding their health facilities, capitalize the latest medical technologies, and adopt, and adopt the digitalization of development of health in the country, and use of emerging technological innovation to improve health care services. On that note, Data and statistics play a crucial and significant role in improving the quality of health in the country. This role will be played best by the government, private sector, data users, and other stakeholders as regards of health and health-related concerns. As we continue implementing health policies and programs to accelerate progress, let us also consider that aside from statistics, every one of us has a significant role to play. 
Then, at last, have we learned our lessons of taking part in the efforts toward a healthy Philippines? Lesson learned. Accelerated progress through data and statistics for a healthy Philippines. <laughs>